class. We are so glad you're here. Good morning. And we are going to have a quick morning meeting this morning. Sadly, it can't be live because I have to go to a meeting. But we are going to start our day with the, with the pledge. pledge. So remember for the pledge, you have to stand to show respect. Put your hand over your heart. Look at the flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. So your job this morning to show that you watched this video in morning meeting is going to be to record you saying the Pledge of Allegiance. You don't have to do it under a separate activity or anything like that. You're just going to hit the comment button under this video. You're going to hit the microphone button, and you're going to record your voice saying the Pledge of Allegiance. That's going to show me that you watched this, okay? Thank you, Ms. Atwood, for holding our flag. You did a great job. So now it's time for our chime time, and this one's going to sound a little bit different. It says close your eyes and listen to the chime. Breathe deeply while listening. Visualize, which means to make a picture in your brain. How do you want your day to look? Okay? Paint a picture in your mind. So what kind of day do you want to have? When you are listening to the sound of the chime, that's what I want you to be thinking about as you breathe. Painting a picture of your day in your brain. What kind of day? Ready? Kind of day did you picture? Ooh, just sitting in my recliner and watching TV. Oh, I pictured a day here at school, but like a calm day where yes. everything worked and everything went as scheduled. That would be a really great day for me. So I hope you had a nice day pictured in your mind for our chime time this morning. So here we have our learning intention and success criteria to get ourselves ready for our day. Read it with me. I will become a distance learner. So something that we do in my classroom sometimes is a thumbometer. Have you ever used the thumbometer before, Miss Atwood? No. Okay. So you you kind of have like your thumb that makes you like, oh, I'm not doing so great. And then with your thumbometer, it starts to come up, and you've got like, I'm not doing okay. Yeah. And then it keeps getting better and better and better until you're like straight up in there. Yeah. So that's our thumbometer. Okay. So right now I want you to think about your thumbometer and where it would fit for I would become a distance learner. Mm -hmm. Are you feeling like, oh my gosh, Mrs. Peterson, there's so much going on. I'm not able to get to mm -hmm. all of it. I'm doing not so great, right? Or I'm you're trying. Halfway. You're getting better I'm with it. I'm becoming a distance uh -huh. learner or like, oh, you got it. I'm zooming. I'm activating. That's I'm right. blogging. I'm seesawing. Like, That's look right. at me go. I got it. I got it. All right. So you decide right now where your thermometer would be. I think I'm like, I was like, not quite all the way because we're learning something new just oh, about every, every day. day. So, yeah, in between halfway and all the way. We're trying, though. Yes. We're trying. Yes. And that's what's most important. And you'll notice under our success criteria that two are missing because I was hoping that maybe you guys could figure out the first two that we've been talking about. If you're going to be a distance learner, then you need to be able to do these things. The last one says complete quality work on time. And I know we haven't talked about that yet. That's coming. But these other two, okay. we do talked you remember? about those. Remember what they are, Miss Atwood? I do, but you got to remember and let us know. Okay, I'm going to take a minute to think about it. Maybe you can include that in your comment with your yes. voice, too. Mm -hmm. Say the Pledge of Allegiance and then tell us about being a distance learner. Mm -hmm. Where was your thumb this right. morning, right? What, what's missing from our slide? I'll click to give you a clue. Oh. That's number one. You've got a schedule. Follow my daily schedule. What about number two? Create a and learning space. space. And I was thinking about changing that from create a learning space to, to be in my, my learning, learning space. space. Yeah, because everybody should have their space already. Right. We already did that as an activity. So if you're going to mm -hmm. be a distance learner, you need to do it in your in learning, learning space. space. So I might change okay. that wording up just a little bit. But hopefully you were able to tell me about those two things. All 
right? So here you can see again our schedule for the day. We've got our three stars, one next to morning meeting, which is what we're rocking right now. One next to whole group reading, which is what we started yesterday. That was that launch where Miss Atwood and I were in our library mm -hmm. and you guys told us about some of your favorite books. You guys yeah. did a great job with that. And then this last thing is Sanford Harmony. That's where I read the story to you yesterday, but today I'm hoping to go live for oh, Sanford Harmony. Because right. it's all about connecting. I feel like it would be really fun if we focused just on that in our Zoom and answered some questions together and looked at the blog again Good. and that kind of stuff. So live today for Sanford Harmony at 1.30. Say it again. Live for Sanford Harmony today at 1.30. 1.30, I'm excited. <laughs> And here's our morning message for the day today. It says, good, good morning, morning, good, good listeners. listeners. Raise your hand if you think you're a good listener. <laughs> we are going to talk more about that today in one of our two lessons that you haven't seen yet. It could be during our reading lesson, or it could be during our Stanford Harmony lesson, or it could be both. But your job today is going to be to be a good listener. Today, today is Tuesday, August 18th. 2020. Great job with your favorite book and blog comments. I was so proud of how you circled those different fiction and nonfiction books. Miss Atwood, are you getting their baggies oh, together? Oh yes, I'm getting them together right now. We'll let you know when they're coming to your house. They're not done yet because again, we got to take some time to look through our books and find the good fit ones for you, okay? And those blog comments were so fun for me to listen to. I hope you had a chance to go back and listen to what other people <laughs> said too. Yeah. yeah, so we're going to take a look at that today during our live Zoom, okay? We will keep talking about reading and connecting with classmates, okay? I'm excited for our Sanford Harmony Zoom this afternoon. Okay, remember, following our learning schedule, we're going to meet this afternoon. We, we love you, you, Mrs. Peterson, and Miss Atwood. We do. We really love you, and we really appreciate you being here with us in the morning, and then after that for reading, and then at the end of the day for our social emotional lesson. So just keep doing what you're doing, friends. You're doing an awesome job. I'm going to run to my meeting. Miss Atwood's going to keep working on your books. Take care. We love you. We'll see you later.